In this video, I'm gonna show you my favorite trick for making your Excel models and files look much more professional and much easier to read and understand. I'll show you how something as simple as color coding specific data types in your spreadsheets can make them look much more professional on one side and on the other side, make them much easier for any potential outside stakeholder to understand. When we work on our Excel projects, we often approach everything from the perspective of our current fresh understanding of how everything we're building works. But if you've had to go back and review or rework or update a file that you did six months ago, you've probably been in the situation where you're staring at your screen and you have no idea who built that file. When we are in the nitty gritty of it, everything looks simple. We understand how all the data flows, where the assumptions are, where we have uh, external references, what's a formula, what's a number and things like that. But after some time and uh, a few dozen other Excel files that we work on, it gets really hard to remember what was what and what was uh, flowing where and how the whole thing worked. And after spending the last 15 years predominantly in Excel, I found out that uh, the simple trick of just color coding everything is by far the best return on time invested that you can do in order to make your life much easier down the line when you have to revisit older files and at the same time make your files look much more professional to anyone else that's reviewing them or working with them. Now let's open Excel and uh, I'll show you what I mean. And if you stick around, I'm also gonna show you an Excel add-in that does that for you in a single click. Take a look at this model file here. You can easily identify the different data types. So for example, you can see that those are cells that reference other worksheets. If I go to like those, those are obviously uh, constants or numeric values and everything that's black is a formula. I always format my files like that to make them much easier to read through and uh, to identify what's what in each worksheet. But what happens when you have like a really large, quite sophisticated model that's not marked in any way? So you can immediately see that it would be much harder to figure out what's happening here so whenever I work on something, I'll usually prototype it really fast and uh, just don't bother. And then while it's still fresh, I'll go in and uh, color everything. The problem is that I also like to do that for uh, files that I receive, especially if somebody sends me a model that I need to review and uh, help figure out some errors or something like that it's much easier when I know what type of data is where. One thing that you can do is if you press F5, you get this go to menu. And if you click on special, you get this go to special where you can select different things. So for example, I can select all the constants, hit okay. Problem now is that this grabs absolutely everything. But uh, what you can do is you can select those like that. So you just select the entire area. Let's go all the way up here before the uh, income statement. Just go all the way to here. And this is everything that I would like to cover. Now, if I hit F5 and go to special and go to constants, now I'm only selecting within this selection. So it's much better. It still gets some of those, but you can just go in after that and fix those. So what I can do here is just make everything blue. And that way I know that uh, everything here is a numeric value. It gets a bit harder when you want to see what's linking outside of uh, this worksheet. To do that, you have to go through manually and uh, just see what's linking where. But honestly, I got really tired of doing that all the time. And that's why in my add-in Minty Tools, I had this numbers coloring thing uh, develop. One thing that I also do, just a quick side note, is uh, my ears are always formulas linking to up here because I want them to remain black and this is how I cover formulas. So imagining that I got this file and it's hard for me to understand what's coming from where and what's happening. I can just select 
everything that I want to colorize. So everything all the way down to here to the uh, income statement. And with all this selected, I'm just going to hit numbers coloring and I can do it for the entire sheet, but I usually just do it for the selected range. And you see here that they have formulas being black, uh, values being blue and uh, external links being green. I don't want any highlights for formulas and for external links and for values. I want a really bright gray, something like that. And I can now just hit apply style. It's going to warn me that it's going to process a lot of items. I'm fine with that. It's saying applying color formatting. Just going to give it a few seconds and it's done. So you see that everything that's a numeric value is now in blue and highlighted in light gray. All the formulas remained black and uh, here I have some external uh, links to other worksheets. So this is linking to the common size worksheet and it's in green. And if I go down, you can see that now it's much easier to figure out what's what. So what are the assumptions? What are things that we're referencing? Where the calculations happen? It's much easier to navigate and to work with a file that's uh, properly color coded. Of course, you can change the colors. You can even go to the style settings here and uh, pick your colors that are going to be applied throughout uh, every uh, tool that uses uh, any kind of colors. It's such a simple concept, but it adds so much value to your files. You see that just by having the different data types color coded, our entire spreadsheet looked so much better, so much easier to navigate and uh, much more professional, in my opinion, at least. In a second, I'm going to tell you about a great six hour resource that you can use to learn financial modeling and it's completely free. But before that, let me just briefly tell you about Minty Tools for Excel. It's an add-in that I've been developing for the past few years and I'm extremely happy that it's now out there and uh, people can use it and uh, get value out of it. I really hope you take a look. First link in the description below. It has dozens of features to automate mundane tasks and uh, speed up your Excel workflow, ultimately saving you time. And uh, if you decide to give it a try, don't forget to use the 50% discount code in the description down below. So now that you know my number one trick for making Excel files look much more professional, I want to show you how to go from an empty Excel spreadsheet all the way through to a fully built dynamic assumptions driven five year strategic financial model. And I'm going to do that in this playlist right here. Don't forget to check out Minty Tools for Excel on the first link in the description down below and uh, I'll catch you in this playlist.